<laughs> Mom, do you want to join? No. No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> All right, let's do this. Skip ad. All right. Yay! I wish I could. Eddie Bear. Yay, Samantha. Yeah, seriously, hydrate. <laughs> Woo, commercial. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm uh, live streaming. Yeah? Yeah, I'm live streaming right now. <laughs> she, she went. <laughs> hi, guys. Hi, Carmen. Hi, guys. All right, I am ready to answer. We want 4K sweaty videos. <laughs> hi, Mom. Samantha says hi. She says hi there. She's very excited. <laughs> so I finished. I've gotten a lot of um, weird, weird requests to have videos that say that said like cat moose knee sweaty, and I'm like I'm confused. Um, all right, guys. So feel free to answer or ask, answer. Feel free to answer my questions for me because I'm not going to. Um, feel free to ask me questions and stuff. If not, then I can go through some of the. Instagram ones that I hadn't gotten to through my Q&As and stuff. Oh, mom, they want to see you. Are you kidding? No, I'm serious. Okay. She's coming. Just so you know, I'm not adopted. And uh, this is my true mom. <laughs> and she's amazing. Okay, okay. So anyway, okay. So let's go through some of the questions that I have previously from past Instagram. One of them's from Angela, who I love. I love Angela. Um, she asked how I get my all my like water intake in. And what I like to do is, so I know this guy's like, it takes like four of these to get to like a gallon. I think it's four of these. So I always try to get four of these guys in. Otherwise, sometimes I had that, I had that gallon jug, but honestly, it was just so much to carry after a while. And I like I like being super minimal when I'm carrying stuff. So I can just slip this in my bag and I know for the day that I should be having these guys. Oh, yay! Wow, oh, oh my gosh, there's so many more people. This is wonderful. Esther, Anthony, Kathleen, Kindly, Basilisk. Wow. So yeah, do you guys have any questions? <laughs> yeah, let me know. Is your mom or dad the Asian one? <laughs> My dad is. My dad is completely Filipino. Um, and then, so I am half, and then I am half. Well, I guess I, guess I found out I'm one fourth Polish and one fourth German. I thought I was half Polish, but now my mind has been blown. Um, <laughs> Erica has the first. Okay, so Erica, thank you so much for the workout this morning. Thank you so much for coming. Do you ever do any heavier lifting? So I used to do like a ton of heavy lifting and stuff. And then. Um, you can come in really quick. Okay, I don't have shoes on. You don't, I don't have shoes on either. Okay. So make sure you squat down for them so you can see them. Oh, cool. So, wait, this is what you look like. Where is it? <laughs> okay, this is my mommy. So can you see me? Squ yeah, squat down right there. This is my mom. Hi. I'm not adopted. She is Snow White. She's the best person in the world. Oh. <laughs> She's being really nice. Yeah. Okay, five points to the person. Guess my age. How old am I? Five points, Gryffindor. <laughs> and then I'll answer all of your questions. I'll answer all of them. <laughs> Look how pretty she is. Oh, sorry. It's delayed, so that's all right. Okay. I could let you know what they what they say then. No, no, I want to hear what they say. <laughs> Hi, mom. Oh, who's that? Uh, Erica, Clementine, <gasps> and Basil. Oh my gosh, great! Because I don't have my reading glasses on. <laughs> so that'll help you figure it out her age. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> All right. She's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank she is you. beautiful. Okay. She's a 28. Guess 28? Who said, guess who said that? That was Justin. Oh said, my gosh. Hi, Justin. <laughs> cat said 48. That's cool. Other cat. That's cool. Hi, she is pretty. Hello, mom. Oh, Matt. You remember Matt? Yes, Matt I do. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I do. Kathleen said 47, 49. Okay, you ready? Uh, you ready to tell him? Okay. Um, this August, I'll be 68. 68! And I'm really excited for her other birthday, <laughs> the one after that, so I can be like, she's 69! Yay! Yay! No, I don't like And that. then we're going to have a bachelorette-themed party. It'll be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> 
She's 38 years old. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She said, so now I know where you get your public personality. Honestly, everyone always asks me, like, where do I, how do That's I get, true. like, my positivity? And I'm like, it's this chick. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to go now, you guys. All right, I'm going to answer your questions now. Thank you, Mom. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You got cold hands. This is where I get my cold hands. Yep. All right, so let us see. Okay, do I do any heavier lifting? So I used to do like a ton of heavy lifting. It used to be pretty much all I did. And I've recently stopped doing super heavy lifting. I'm mainly doing calisthenics. Uh, before I add more heavy deadlifts and squats back in, I'm trying to fix my hips. They're currently uneven. So before I strengthen any more of that, I want to make sure to even them out. Otherwise, I'm just going to create more imbalances and more tightness. So just make sure if you have any of those tightnesses and balances, stuff like that, you fix it before you keep strengthening it in other ways. So that's super important to do for a healthy, well-rounded, happy body. And yeah, all right, Ivy, when did you start working out? I started working out uh, in college, like strictly like a lot. Um, for when I was like 18 or 19, I wanna say. And yeah, it started out with just dancing in my room and doing the thigh master, and then it graduated to Jillian Michaels workouts. And then I took a kickboxing and yoga class in college. And then it escalated from there with all the new cool stuff I was learning. So, Matt, what's your favorite body part to work? I have a guess, but figured the fans would want to know. <laughs> My favorite body part used to be legs. I used to do heavy lifting legs twice a week and no upper body. Now it's back. <laughs> back is my favorite because of pull-ups. And I just love all the different pull-up variations. So I love having a strong back. I feel like that's it's just super empowering. Uh, let's see. Vicky, so hi, I'm thinking about going vegan. Yeah, do it. I, no buy, no buy. I should I just say you should do it. If you do have more questions after this for me, like you can always message me too. Um, what's a good vegan protein options? I love Garden of Life Fit. Their chocolate is so good. I also use Bomar Nutrition um, chocolate almond coconut. So, so good. It's That one's a lot sweeter. So if you don't like too sweet, I would stick with the Garden of Life Fits. Uh, I'll post it in my stories today, though, for you. So in my Instagram stories. Yeah. Let's see here. And I got to scroll down to because I'm catching up after all the mommies. <laughs> How long have you had awesome pink hair? Oh, thank you. I'm a unicorn. Uh, I've gone through so many, so many rainbows. A lot of rainbows. Um, started with blue and then it went to like pink purple. So strictly pink for a long time. Mm, what is it? Two years now, I think. Probably about two years. Who knows how long it'll stay. But I have this super, I have this fantasy of having it like down to my hips and it's just all pink and I'm like um mini moons uh when she grew up from sailor moon <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah let's see here what was your favorite gaming console when growing up <laughs> oh super nes because of chrono trigger chrono trigger is the best game in the entire world and I've played it on all the systems that it's been remade on and I can't wait till it comes to the switch I'm really really hoping it comes to the switch but it's the best game best soundtrack my mom would agree probably yes um yeah so that one is definitely no I don't want that she's like trying to show me baby pictures I don't want to show them my baby pictures <laughs> oh yeah, yeah okay so this is my mom when she was younger with her long hair. So I don't want it that long, <laughs> but I know I have the genes to get long hair <laughs> like that. Hopefully you guys can see it. Thank you. Yeah, I, I had super long hair when I was um, in grade school. Let's see here. Do you have any recommendations for buying lightsabers from Ultra Sabers? Don't. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I had some complications with Ultra Sabers, to be honest. Like I loved them at first, and then uh, the last one I got was a it was an adventure and I needed to contact them like like eight times in order just to be like, you sent me a broken one. Can I like send it back and get it repaired? Um, if it's for spinning, make sure you get a hilt that's super simple. Like you don't want one at the top that has 
really intricate like any like holes or anything like that because if you're spinning it it's just going to cut you up and i made that mistake at first um and get if you if it's just for spinning and you're not going to do any striking then don't get the heavy grade one because the the regular one has a way better flow to it and um yeah i really like the flow way better but if you're gonna strike make sure you get the heavy grade one yeah let's see here oh that's from jenna hi jenna that's so great uh vasilis how long did it take to learn those ninjas i still can't do them haven't given up though oh my goodness okay so ninja ninjas like this so uh so what you want to do is how long did it take to learn i don't know i feel like i I was born a ninja and I just knew. <laughs> I feel like I've done so much like plyo work and so much explosive movement that I kind of just was able to. A lot of it is mental, to be honest. Uh, something you could do, place your hands on the ground, pop up, get used to just popping up like that. Make sure you have a soft grounding so you're not so afraid to absorb that impact. Um, and then, I mean, another thing is you start with one leg and then you hop up other leg hop up so you're kind of just working with one leg at a time and building up to it so yeah i hope that one helps you ninjas are really fun it makes you feel cool right <laughs> yeah honestly kathleen yes seriously try that protein let me know kathleen which one you try because she's not awesome. she has some really good looking food too <laughs> um let's see here mike oh my gosh how much flexibility stuff do you do so I do a lot more now. I, If I could go back to talk to baby cat, I would tell her, please start doing more flexibility and mobility stuff now because I had to work on undoing so much from just beating my body up and not taking the time to really take care of the mobility and stuff. You wanna think of exercise as helping you to do things in life easier and happier. Oh, there's the lawn guy again. Hello, do you, Anthony, do you feel like you're, he's right there? Um, <laughs> but yeah, so it's like just super important to do that. I do it every single day, every single day after my workout. So after this, I'm gonna be doing some more mobility. I make sure I start to roll first. So I start my workouts with rolling and then I'll go into some stretching mobility and then I'll get more into like my my crazier ninja workout stuff. So make sure you, you guys take some time and build up to it. So it doesn't have to be a lot because it's otherwise, if you're like, I'm gonna do 20 minutes every day, then it's very daunting with everything and anything. So even if you start out with like two minutes and then build up to three minutes, it's actually really, it's very enjoyable after a while. And then you start to be able to do different movements that you haven't been able to do before. Like when I used to do sumo squats, it used to be super painful for my inner and outer thighs. And now it's not. And that kind of motivates me to just keep on going with it. So highly, highly recommend to do that. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, baby pictures, guys, no. <laughs> I had the chubbiest cheeks. It was cute. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Do you do online personal training? If not, would you consider it? No, mom, stop. She comes in with a baby picture. This is why I shouldn't do the live streams here. She's gonna be like, oh. <laughs> um, do I do online personal training? I don't right now. Um, I'm not sure when I will. I'm really just concentrating on just like building up our community together and like learning all I can and taking a, a little bit of time. Cause like adding like more of the workouts during the week, it's a lot, it's a lot of energy. Um, and then I try to answer all of your guys' comments on all of my social media. So it's, um, it's a lot. <laughs> I'm really, I'm building up that energy to take on more and more kind of thing. So stay tuned. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Erica. Nika, talking pull-ups, how long did it take you to get your first one? Any suggestions how to get there? I really struggle. Okay. So pull-ups and stuff, how long did it take me? Ugh, I honestly don't even know how long it took me. Um, but, so suggestions, highly recommend first just dead hangs to get the grip strength, then add bar traversing. So that means just going side to side on the bar so that way you can handle controlling your own body weight. 
Um, and then also scapular retractions. So you keep your arms straight on the bar, you're hanging from it, and you pull down, keeping your arms straight. So that's gonna build up the muscles here. After that, I would recommend lat pull down machine if you, can, if you have access to that. Really focus on driving your elbows down, keeping your chest up. Something that drives me crazy when people do pull-ups is when they tense up like this, and I'm like, you would be better off not doing any pull-ups than to do that, because you're just tens tensing up your, um, your muscles, your traps and everything, and creating all that tightness you just don't need. And so make sure when you're learning pull-ups, learn them correctly the first time. People saw my, my newest post where I got the, the pull-up PR. They're like, oh, your form. And I'm like, yeah, because like, if I don't have good form, I do not count it. Like, it doesn't count. So make sure, keep your elbows in, bring it down. Another thing, negative pull-ups. So you jump up to the bar. You're at the top, chin's over. Slow and controlled as slow as you can, keeping your core engaged, keeping your glutes engaged. Slow it down straight, all the way down. Last thing, banded pull-ups. Place the band right here and it helps you to pull up. So yeah, I hope that helps you guys with that one. Yeah, let's see here. Bye, Basilisk. I need some new training shoes, any tips? So it depends on what kind of training you're doing. If you're doing kind of this stuff, you wanna make sure you have shoes that can handle lateral work. You wanna make sure um, they have a nice, uh, nice grippies on the bottom. I have, do I have my shoes here? I don't know where they are. Oh, wait, hold on. So these guys, these are nice because it has like bottoms that can handle lateral work. And see, running shoes, they're formed. So it's for straight movement. So you'll see they, they're more rounded. So it goes with like the curve of your running, what is that? Mm, I guess just strike, I want to call it. Uh, but these are a little bit flatter, so they can handle a little bit more of this kind of stuff. So I highly recommend, I usually get the Nike training ones. I go a half size up. I should be sponsored, right? <laughs> that would be amazing. Give me shoes. <laughs> what protein shake do you use? I make my own. So this is from Michelle. I make my own uh, protein shakes. I don't usually buy any. Um, what I'll put in it is super simple. So I'll have uh, frozen blueberries, banana, oatmeal, almond extract, almond milk, and then protein powder. Yeah, so, and I blend it all up all nice. Oh, so delicious. <laughs> what is the best, quickest way to manage a push-up? We do your workouts pretty much each day. Is there anything in between that would speed this up? Fran, thank you. Okay. Okay, so push-ups. And for pull-ups, I forgot to mention this. Make sure you're squeezing your core and your glutes. Uh, so push-ups. You want to make sure, I would, if possible, elevate your body on a stable surface try not to have something squishy like a couch um and then so pretend my my upper body is elevated you want to think okay plank position step one out then you want to externally rotate those elbows after that come into a plank come down elbows at 45 neck is neutral look a little bit ahead of you bring it down squeeze chest pressing up okay so elevating your upper body instead of going to your knees lets you use more of the muscles that you would use in a regular push-up. Because if you saw right there, squeezing the core, squeezing the glutes, it's a little bit harder to do all of that when you're in this position. And it gets your quads activated too. So a little bit each day, try that out. Um, make sure you're doing some stretches for your wrists every day too, because it's a lot of pressure on the wrists. So yeah, take care of yourself that way. How many uh, Vicky, how many times a week do you work out in a day and do you do rest days? How many times a week do I work out in a day? Um, <laughs> lately it's been two because, because of the, the whole worldly situation. I try not to use the keywords because I don't want YouTube to flag me or something. Um, I've had to do the boot camps at night on Mondays, Thursdays, and Wednesdays so I've had to do some of those and then some days I run with my friends so um, it's either one to two times a day do I do rest days yes lately I haven't been able to just because of keeping up with YouTube and all that stuff so I really focus on sleep and nutrition like I have to be 
on it. Uh, I will be taking a rest day soon. But there's a difference between a rest day and a recovery day. Recovery day is really nice because you still get to do like, still do mobility work. You might go out for a nice walk or a hike or something like that. So you take it lower impact and you keep, you still, you're still moving your body and still working on towards your goals. It's really nice. I like to use those days to like really get a longer mobility stretch in. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see here. Mm, thoughts on fasted cardio. If it works for you, that's fine. I have nothing against it, to be honest. Like, I personally always need something before I work out. That's just how I am. Um, but every individual is different. Some people feel sick when they have stuff in their stomach and they work out. Some people don't. So it's one of those things where, same with diet. If it works for you, that's good. All right. Lean, what is your best substitute when you're craving a delicious burger? Thoughts on Beyond Meat or Impossible Meat? I, if I have, if I crave a burger, I'll eat a burger. <laughs> That's what I'll do. It's, um, it's one of those things going back to like binge eating and stuff. If I restricted myself too much, then I would end up binging and it would just, I would have a bad relationship with food. But I've come to the point where I can balance between um, eating, you know, healthier throughout the week. And then if I want a burger, cool. I'm going to eat a burger, <laughs> but just make sure you're getting nutrients in your other meals and throughout the week and stuff. So I'm, I'm not against that. Thoughts on Beyond Meat or Impossible Meat? I'll eat it. I'm not going to eat it every day, but I'll eat it. <laughs> it's really good. It's super, super good and kind of creepy. <laughs> Let's see. Erica, don't take on too much self priorities. Yes, I know. It's been harder because like during this time, I feel like, oh, you know, everyone's stuck inside. And I just really wanted to use this time to help as many people as possible. And during that, unfortunately, I do tend to burn myself up. So that is something I do need to find balance on. But I'm just like, I need to help people. They're sad. They're stuck. They're, they need more workouts, you know. So I will, <laughs> I have to work on that. That is something. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. Kathleen, Adam told me how to do those scapular attractions. He said to try to do all your pull-ups like that. Yeah, I love that good pull-up. Seriously, though. Uh, let's see. Is it healthy to push your hands off your knees when getting up off the ground? Is it healthy to push your hands off your knees? Oh, I see. Okay, so like this. Um, hmm. I mean, if you really... I think the thing is, if you need to do that, you probably need to strengthen other things. And that's an indicator of needing to strengthen your leg strength, for one, and your core strength. Because if you can't do this, because right now, if you think about it, all the, you're putting force down on that knee. And then if you push far like this, that's just putting sheer force on your knee. And you don't want to do that. So if you absolutely have to, make sure, just like our lunges and our squats, you're pushing down on the ground like this, push straight up, okay? Otherwise, again, you're gonna push down and putting unneeded force on those knees. So none of that. So take it as an indicator. Oh, I need to strengthen core. I'm gonna need to strengthen my legs in order to help get myself up safely and healthily without putting unneeded pressure on my joints. So yeah, hey, this is fun. This is so fun. You guys are great. Jenna, what are your recommendations for gaining ab definition? Work your abs every day. I have gotten so much progress from working my abs every single day. Yeah, if I need a rest day, I'll take a rest day. Or if I'm just like, not today, that's cool. Um, and that doesn't mean like 30 minutes. It means like 5 to 10. And then, of course, you got to make sure that you focus on diet. So a few ways that you can get it. You can either really really get strong popping abs that pops out no matter what or you can get popping abs and then lose the body fat around you or you can just lose body fat and still have abs try to get the strong way get the strong way hey what's your favorite muscle on men and women Ooh. um i probably notice shoulders first because even if, even if you're resting, you know, you can, you can tell that, that they work out. And I think that's really cool. 
I think you know, they get that nice cap. I'm like, ooh, they work out. That's cool. <laughs> Let's see here. Where'd you get your tattoo? Which one? <laughs> I have three. I technically have four. One was a cover up. Never again. Never, never again. <laughs> um, this one I got in New York. This one I got in New York. Um, this one was Bang Bang Tattoos. This one was East River Tattoos. And this one was in Madison by this really cool girl, Wolf Drawn, on Instagram. She's She was awesome. I loved it. I loved it because, well, one reason I loved it because um, I like to zone out when I'm getting a tattoo. I like don't, I don't want to talk. I just want to like think about anything else. And I talked to her beforehand. I'm like, do you like to, because I got the vibe. I'm like, do you like to just kind of zone out? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, perfect. <laughs> so we like hardly talked at all and it was perfect and she's super nice. And yeah, so it was, it was great. Okay. Kathleen, would you ever make videos doing workouts at the gym for us to follow? Yeah, I would. I would totally do that. I like don't I don't really use too much equipment anymore for like heavy lifting right now while I'm fixing my hips, but I would do it. Like what do you if what do you guys want? What do you want? What kind of workout? Let me know. <laughs> uh Cosmic Daddy. Hi Ella. Cosmic Daddy, what are your favorite vegan sources of protein? I really want to go vegan, but I'm a picky eater. Ah, that's okay. <laughs> I eat tofu like crazy. I eat a lot of tofu. <laughs> it's <laughs> kind of ridiculous. Um, I eat a lot of tofu. I eat edamame, broccoli. I should eat more spinach in my diet. I really, really should. Um, what else do I have? I will have some Beyond Burgers recently just because Justin has been grilling them and they've been so good. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Quinoa, couscous, and I will have some, some of the vegan protein powder. Mm, yeah, those are my personal main sources. If uh, And then, like, during the summer, I don't, for some reason, I don't like beans as much. When, it, when the weather gets hotter, I feel like it just sits in my stomach more. But when it's like winter, I will eat more like black beans, pinto beans, stuff like that. Or if I go to Chipotle, because Chipotle is amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> Yay. I love you, Kat. Your extra is great. Thank you, Ella. Sending love to you too and sparkles. Hey. Dominique. Hello, Dominique. You like the movement flow ones. I remember you. I remember you. <laughs> Hello, Kat. Have you thought of designing and building a workout app for your business as a long-term goal? YouTube channel is great and its functions, however, the app can store offline videos. Yeah, I've thought about it. <laughs> it's like, it's so, uh, so much. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't even know where to start. I'm just a little, I'm just a, a girl doing this by herself. So if you have any, any uh, people you know, let me know. That'd be cool. I would be up for that. <laughs> I'd so be up for that. Favorite cheat meal. Ooh, oh my god. Okay, I love, I mean, like, I don't really, the thing is, I don't call them cheat meals. I just eat what I want, but I know some of them are probably not as, like, great for me. Um, What I like to do is, um, Justin and I will go to Whole Foods and we'll get, like, that chocolate chip cheesecake. It's vegan, and it, it's, oh, bah, it's so good. It's so, it's so good. Um, and then Cafe Mana, it's this vegan vegetarian restaurant that they have this cauliflower udon dish. Mmm, it's spicy, it's good. It's really, really good. Other than that, I love sushi. Sushi's amazing. Sweet potato sushi, mm, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Yay! Love from Sammy Owen and me, thank you. Thank you, Erin, love back, love back. Um, yes, Nika, do it, do it. Let me know if you have any more questions. Michelle, I started following your friend on Instagram. Not creepily, though. The artist you mentioned that help you with these live videos. Oh, Von Art. So Von Art is my best friend in the in the whole world. Like, we've known each other since we were three. He has incredible art. I am so proud of him for his entire progress. It's crazy. He's like, two, he's like no, he has like 310,000 followers on Instagram now. I just remember when we used to draw Pokemon drawings together when we were like seven. <laughs> and now he's a crazy pencil artist. Oh my God. Okay. Dean, Dean, Dine. Ah, I'm so bad. 
Danette. Yes. <laughs> Miss Van. Miss, Mr. Van. Miss, Mrs. Anyway, uh, tips for improving grip strength and wrist strength at home. I no longer have access to my climbing gym or a hangboard, and I don't want to lose the gains I was making from climbing. Ah, oh, that's the worst. And playgrounds are technically kind of closed. Technically. Uh, kind of. Let's see here. What can we do? So something, if you have like heavy weights and stuff, farmer carries are going to be awesome to use. Uh, if you have even like rice bags or um, soil or something to hold on to, that's going to help your grip strength. They have um, those grip strength trainers that like the squishy balls and the extensors. Those are nice. Uh, what I like to do is like a dumbbell. I'll also go like this and I'll hang it off. And I'll make sure my hand is completely down and I'll bring it up like this. This is going to be strengthening my forearm at the top, which is gonna help with my grip too. And then I'll do the opposite way as well. Uh, if you can find a tree to hang from, uh, something that I did during this time was we went to a park and there was a field goal and I was hanging from that. So it's kind of like you kind of just gotta get creative with it and find different ways like that. That was really fun. That was, yeah. But if parks are open, like, Jungle gyms? Hold on, man. There's that's something. Uh, invest in one of those pull-up bars that you can put on your doorway. I highly recommend something like that. Is there anything else that I can think of? Hmm. Yeah, those are the main ones. Those are the main ones. I know how you feel, but just remember that this isn't forever. It's not forever. And your muscles remember. Your muscles do. All right. Let's see here. Uh, I don't care about stretch marks, but do you have any tips for excess skin? Ooh. Uh, for, okay, so I, I think of it as this, is how long did it take you to get to that excess skin? And then, so, and then you lost weight. It's like, you still have to give your body time to go back. And if after a while it still hasn't gone back, that's really going to be the mental game of it. That's going to be the mental game of, accepting like this is how my body is and stuff like that uh, another thing is build muscle building muscle is gonna uh, and tighten around you but there is you know you might have excess skin and that might be something that you have to accept about your body and stuff like i have to accept stuff too <laughs> i get it i get it so I have really weird feet and I can't change that. But for some reason, someone on Instagram wants to buy feet pictures from me. God. <laughs> Lean, what keeps you positive when you don't have motivation to accomplish your goals, but you just got to do it? I think that's the thing. You just got to do it. <laughs> you just, um, I think about my goals. I think about what, the, what steps it's going to take me to get there. I think about how I'll feel after achieving those goals. I'll, I'll remind myself that not doing anything isn't gonna make myself feel better. I remind myself that I have all the power and that if I don't do anything, then that's my choice, but I have the choice to actually be proactive about it and be a warrior and take control and go towards my goals and work towards them because no one else is going to for me. I remind myself that motivation comes and goes. It's not forever. <laughs> you know, you go through patches of like, I love this. I'm going to keep on going and doing stuff and all that jazz. And then you go through stuff like, I want to curl up like this. So you just kind of got to force yourself. Get out of there. Get out of your comfort zone. No one ever accomplished anything without getting out of their comfort zone unless they did for some reason. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you just got to get out there and do it. You got to do it. Let's see. Okay, so Kathleen, you want back and legs at the gym? Yeah, I would do that. That'd be cool. <laughs> Let's see here. Angela, I know it different, it's different for everyone, but how do you get those abs? Ah, thank you. Um, so for me personally, I store uh, most of my excess body fat in my lower body. So my abs, uh, they're easier to reveal when I'm at a lower body fat percentage. And I don't need to lose as much be at such a low body fat percentage to see them. And I make sure I get to work my abs almost every single day. That has helped so much to have them pop. And then not only just aesthetically, but having them be stronger, 
has helped in so many other ways into my fitness. Like I, my pull-ups are stronger, um, my planks and and different like mobility movement stuff is stronger. So it really does transfer into it. It's not just for looks, it's for like function, function, function's cool, right? I like functioning. <laughs> Johnny, I noticed you've gotten really ripped in the last few months. Did you change your diet or your workouts? Yes. Um, I think the biggest thing was changing. I know it sounds dumb, but I wrote written posts about this. It's, it was changing my mental state. So I had to get past binge eating. I had to get over that. I had to make uh, peace with food. I had to make peace with my body. And then after that, I didn't feel like when I made a choice to not eat a certain food, I didn't feel like that was restriction. Instead, I felt like that was respect towards my body and my goals. You know, it all depends on where it comes from mentally. So, um, yeah, so that that was huge. For workouts and stuff, I've gone I've switched mainly to calisthenics and I enjoy it so much. And then I also do a lot more mobility and stuff like that. So it's it's lower impact and that's why in my newer workouts I say so much slow things down, really get the mind muscle connection, really focus on that. So so important to do. And uh, yeah, so a lot of it was just like a mental game for me to get over a lot of stuff that I went through. So make sure you take care of your mental state and then it will transfer over and do the things that you love because I'm, I'm doing all the movements that I love doing. Like I really aim towards like ninja training because I wanted to, you know, be a ninja warrior and stuff. But even if I don't make it, I'm okay with that because it's just taken me on this such a beautiful, wonderful route where I've met so many amazing people. And at the same time, I love my workouts and I train like a video game character, spin lightsabers, like it's cool. So yeah, just enjoy the food that you're eating. I make sure to, mm, I want to show my body love and respect through not only like my movements, uh, but also through the food that I'm giving it and through the thoughts that I'm giving it. So very, very important if you're struggling with really beating yourself up, then we want to work on that first. Make sure you work on your mental state because that is, that is key. I hope that helps you out. I hope it does. Let's see here. Hmm. Movement equals motivation. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> Anthony, what are the kind of goals you set for yourself? Ooh, so many. <laughs> I have so many. So one of them is like just, it could be little stuff. Like one of mine is just opening up my hips. Because before, honestly, I couldn't, I couldn't do this. It was, or like this was like this. And it hurt to sit on Justin's motorcycle in the back. I would just be in so much pain because my hips were so tight. So that was one of my goals is to open my hips. Another one is to fix my the levels of my hips to make sure they're even. Another one is to fix, I overpronate my feet and that can in the long run cause knee and hip pain and issues. So I'm working on opening up so my feet are more even. I'm studying a lot of biomechanics right now. So I'm working towards to get a cert for that. Um, what are my other goals? 15 pull-ups, I'm at 13, ultimate goal of 30. And get back into deadlifting, but once my hips are even, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play around with that. And what else? Hmm. get better at the saber. I have a lot of. Oh gosh, you know what? I have so many. <laughs> Human flag, planche, front lever, back lever, which I got halfway yesterday. I'm so stoked. And yeah, a lot of calisthenics stuff. A ton of calisthenics. So fun. <laughs> Let's see, Mandalorian or Han Solo? Mandalorian. God, I love, I loved that series. It was so like, it was just what this world needs. <laughs> it was, um, it was so relaxing. I felt so calm and at peace when I was watching it and happy. I really, really loved it. And I, I love, I love the actor for Mandalorian and the relationship with Baby Yoda. I thought that was so cute and wonderful. And yeah, I like how he doesn't show his face because it's not about, it's like the whole Guy Fox thing in, um, 
what is that movie? V for Vendetta. So it's like, you, you can't really base it on physical appearance, you know? And I really, really liked that. I really like that. Uh, let's see here. Lean, do you stretch first thing in the morning to wake yourself up? What do you do? I'm going to take a drink. Yay. Okay, so I don't stretch first thing in the morning. I'll stretch right before my workout. So even if I'm not feeling my workout, or like feeling like working out, sometimes doing the stretching and mobility really helps me to get into that mindset again. Because it's kind of like a, it's like a meditation for me. And it's also learning what does my body need right now. And that kind of directs me to learning what I need to do for my workout. Because sometimes when I go into my workouts, I don't know what I'm going to do. But when I really get into my movement flow for my warm up, I feel, OK, this is what my body needs today. And I need to strengthen this. I need to stretch this more. Um, uh, yeah, that really helps. And then I think of a few goals that I have to work towards, like my pull-up goal, my front lever goal, and stuff like that, and I'll work towards that. And I'll usually end off my workouts with some abs, more stretchy mobility. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are great. This is flowing. I'm excited. I was like, I always get nervous before these Q&As because I'm like, I hope people show up. <laughs> I hope there are people there. <laughs> um, Nathan, favorite calisthenics YouTuber or other workout inspiration? <gasps> Frank Medrano, coolest calisthenics guy ever. I'm pretty sure he's like 61 and he's ripped. He looks amazing. He's vegan too. And I didn't find that out until after I was following him. So I mean, I'm like, that's even cooler. Like what? He's incredible. I highly recommend checking him out. He has a ton of stuff more on Instagram rather than YouTube, but yeah. Um, another one, let's see here from, well, <laughs> what is his name? I can't think. Oh, Chris Heria. Her Heria? Chris Heria? He's really cool. He's a really cool tatted dude. And yeah, he, but the thing about him is that I love like how much he can do and he's very inspirational to me, but his follow alongs, some of his beginner stuff is not beginner. And I'm like, well... Maybe in a couple of years, I'll be a beginner. <laughs> right now, I'm still a young Padawan. <laughs> um, let's see. Thank you so much, Samantha. Yeah. Fee, thank you so much. Yes. Go vegan. <laughs> Everyone leaves. Yeah, Justin's not vegan yet, but he has, he makes a joke that he's more vegan than me because he eats more than me. And then he'll eat. Ah, but you get it. Okay. Jenna, what pasta sauces do you like? Um, I don't, hmm, I like anything marinara. I, I really love marinara. I don't like the creamy other stuff as much. Um, I guess Prego. I don't, I don't, mm, I don't have it too much, too often, but when I do, it's usually anything that's on sale <laughs> and that's chunky. I really like that. <laughs> yeah. We do you like candles. What kind of scents do you like? I love candles. Um, what scents do I like? Mm -hmm. Anything. Not, not like, not like, uh, what is that? I don't like lavender as much. It kind of makes me feel queasy. I like, mm, something that smells like I want to eat it. <laughs> is that weird? <laughs> I just want to eat this candle. <laughs> Clementine Diva, is there a ninja warrior that inspired you to submit your application? Um, yes, there are a few, <laughs> there are a few, um, Jessie Graff, of course, cause she's incredible. Um, and then my ninja coach, Tony, <laughs> he's just like, he's incredible. And I want him to be on the show so bad cause he's so good at what he does. And that whole gym, everyone there is just like incredible. Um, but yeah, I, the, those two. And then Justin did. He, oh God, I have to tell you guys this. Okay, so the day that I decided I didn't want to submit was the day that Justin did a Lachey. And I'm like, I looked at him, I'm like, I'm not going to submit this year. I'm not ready. Literally two hours after that, I got an email from one of the casting people. And they're like, hey, if you want to, like, I saw your Instagram. We were wondering if you want to, like, submit an application. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Like, how did this happen? Um, 
But even if like I submit it, it doesn't mean like I'm on it. I still had to audition and stuff. And there were probably people, I look at my audition and I'm like, this is not good. I've gotten so much better. And I totally understand if they don't choose me right now. Cause I, I, it was, I was not ready at the time. So I thought that was really funny. Um, yeah, so that, that happened. And then I got asked the, another casting person asked me to be on mental samurai and it has Rob Lowe as the, um, the host. And I love Rob Lowe from Parks and Rec. And I was like, no way. So I had like an interview and then they quizzed me on stuff and I was not great. <laughs> I mean, I knew I wouldn't be, but I'm like, you know, this could be really fun. And like meeting Rob Lowe would be like the coolest thing ever. So that happened. <laughs> oh my gosh. We'll go about a few, a little bit longer. And then I don't know how long you guys want to stay here. I mean, like, I'm cool with this. I love this. Uh, Anthony, do you, did you have any fitness inspirations growing up, including fictional characters? One of mine was Goku. <laughs> yeah, man. That's freaking awesome. Mine was, oh God. Um, the Sailor Moon count, but honestly, like Sailor Moon, uh, Xena Warrior Princess was probably my number one. And I got to meet her at a Comic-Con and I was shaking. I was shaking so much because I'm like, I didn't know what to say. And I did that whole fangirl thing where like, I I love you. <laughs> After you walk away, you're like, I love you. That's all you had to say to your like childhood hero. I love you. <laughs> she gets this all the time. She's not going to remember that. I should have thought of something cooler. Um, yeah. So she was one. I used to take those like, was it protractors? Those like half circles that you, I think it's a protractor. It's not a compass. Yeah. It's the protractors. And I taped two together and I threw it like it was a chakra, <laughs> like Xena. <laughs> so she would be my number one for sure. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Clementine, I hope to see you on Ninja Warrior. I, I do too. I think it'd be fun. Lean, keep going. Keep doing this and spicy up my working from home situation. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know how you do it, man. It's awesome, though. Uh, Clementine, do you Let's see. Most recently watched show or movie? Oh, Jurassic Park. The latest one was awful. <laughs> don't see it. <laughs> Sorry, crisp rat, but don't see it. Um, <laughs> it. It made me so upset. Like flames, like that clue thing. Flames breathing on my face um, at the end. That I. It was one of those things like, like after watching Walking Dead, um, after the whole, when, when Negan caught them in the circle, after that finale, God. And after Game of Thrones, I had that same feeling after just being like furious. Like I invested my time into this thing. And then we watched Jurassic Park, the first one. And it's just like so good. The first one's so good. You guys, it just, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Let's see here. Sam, yeah, you stopped in at the perfect time to talk about Xena. That's <laughs> freaking awesome. Sam, you are awesome. You are a warrior. And I love seeing your posts. I love it. Your gym, amazing. Seriously. Lean, difference between regular ab exercises versus standing abs. So standing abs is nice because it's just like, you don't put any, some people can't do this because maybe they had um, a separation after giving birth, especially the men. No, I'm just kidding. Um, or some people find it uncomfortable or they can't put any kind of strain on their neck even though they're not supposed to be. Some people can't find that connection with their core yet where they place all the all the tension um, inside and placing, like getting rid of the curve in your back. So that's really nice. And some people can't go up and down uh, really fast and stuff because their body is not quite there yet. So standing abs is a really nice option for that. And it's just variety and it's something different too. It incorporates a lot more muscles usually too for standing abs. So if you're doing like, you know, pretend I'm standing, you're doing like a knee pull or something, you know, you're getting, you're getting your quads, you're getting all that jazz. So it incorporates a lot more muscles most of the time when you're doing something like, like standing abs. So yeah. Mary, thank you for wanting to say it. Thanks for your positivity and workout videos. You're welcome. Thank you guys so much for, for just joining me and also for your, your comments and stuff. I really appreciate like after 
You know, I, I, I still, the day after posting a video, whatever kind of video it is, I get nervous. I wake up excited to look at my phone to see what you guys think. <laughs> I, I look for the comments. I look for, oh, did they like it? Did they share it? Like, is it good? I still get that. I still get that excitement, that little girl excitement. So just, you know, I really appreciate you guys. And yeah, <laughs> Sam, oh yeah, God, I was so mad at that last season, you guys, you guys. I still go, <laughs> I still go on that Reddit, that subreddit, Free Folk, and they're still talking about how much the season was just trash, and um, it helps my soul a little bit. It helps to recover a little bit, to know I'm still not alone. <laughs> it was hard. It was, it was, I read the books, I invested so much, and that. I could go on. I could make a live stream about this, but I won't because I'm I'm trying to stay positive for you guys. <laughs> so yeah. Lean, worst form, wrong exercise execution you've seen at the gym. <gasps> oh my God, I love that you asked this. <laughs> I love that you asked this so much. Usually it is the pull-ups, the pull-ups thing that I bring up. Again, people like squeeze their traps like this and they pull up and I'm like, that's not good for you. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Learn from this. Learn from scratch. Go back to that pull downs and really focusing on opening up your chest and bringing your elbows down and make sure you're not engaging those traps like that. Like it's again, it'd be better if you just didn't do them at all. Um, so yeah, that that is the one that probably irks me the most but a common one that I see that I want to correct now for you guys just in case make sure when you're doing squats and stuff that you're not hunched over like this because in my old videos I used to do this and it irks myself to see myself like that and I would be hunched over all this roundness and stuff make sure back is flat and that's why I slow things down now you know really really important to do that Clementine thank you for always answering comments it really means a lot particularly in this time it's really motivating I try I try so hard to answer so you, you, like all of your guys' comments. It's, it's it just remember that like it's just so important to know that we're I don't want I, that that term in this together and stuff. We're in, I just want us to know that we're all human and that we all need connection and that we all need that that love and stuff. And I want you you guys to know that I appreciate you. I know as like my channel grows, I might not be able to answer everyone. But if you guys have specific questions, of course, I will try and stuff. So, oh, my goodness. Michelle. Oh, my God. Michelle Gonzalez. Thank you so much for super chatting. Thank you. You guys. Thank you. Thank you. There, there's a super chat option. If you guys do want to support my channel even more, it is super important to be together like this and to support me. No, I'm just getting like that. Um, no, but thank you. Thank you. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you. Yay, Lean, I'm sending you my foodies later. Thank you. So Lean is, Lean is my client. <laughs> she is spunky. She is awesome. And she is making progress, even though she doesn't feel like it. <laughs> Jordan, I'm trying to build up my endurance with running and working out. What do you recommend? Can't get past that three miles. I actually really do want to have my um, ninja coach come onto my channel. And he has helped me with my running a lot. He would be perfect to answer this question. But let's see, can't get past that three miles. So what he does is he does not just like, like every time he's just trying to build, um, you know, uh, what is that called? Mm, distance. Sometimes he'll go for just time. So even if you just start building up your time or he adds in those sprint intervals, I think it's called fartlek. And I thought that was the funniest name ever but you'll do sprint intervals and then you run, run, run. So it's building your endurance in a different way. Um, I'm not sure what's stopping you, if it's like your leg endurance or if it's your, um, what's that? Your lung capacity or something like that. So if you have more uh, in depth about that, maybe I can help you out a little bit more. Anthony, I pre we appreciate you. I appreciate you and Michelle so much. I try to know all your guys' names too. Um, yeah, <laughs> I really, really try to uh, remember them because some people, it's, they don't have their names on there. And I'm like, thank you so much. Smiley face. <laughs> so that's usually how it ends and stuff. But yeah, 
All right, well, I think I'm gonna wrap this up soon. Do you guys have any more questions? Any more last minute questions? I cannot believe there's 35 of us. <laughs> like, that's really cool. That's really, really cool. Let me know any more questions that you might have about your journey, about if you ever went through like an eating disorder, because I know stuff about that. I am fluent in it. <laughs> uh, if you have any like mental stuff that you're going through that you want to talk about or anything like that, let me know. I was going to drink this water awkwardly. Close my eyes and hope there's questions. Uh, no, no. Thank you for doing this. Thank you. Seriously, thank you so much for coming. I can't believe it. Like after us being like sweaty and stuff and gross and all that jazz. Jenna, thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank you, Jenna. Ah, Jordan, thank you so much. Yeah. Brian, just want to say thanks for the quiet workouts. My downstairs neighbors hate me a little less. <laughs> I try. I try to help you guys. I can do more of those quiet ones if you guys want. Let me know. I would totally love to help you um, with that. So, yeah. Sam, thank you. Lean, love you. Mel literally came here because I know your body positive. Yes. If you guys read my newest post, um, I think it's super important to to read that <laughs> i think it's super important i post on instagram and facebook but if you have neither of those um i did post that it's okay and it's possible to love your body but also want to change it so it really depends on where it's coming from you know like if if your intention is you want to change it because you hate it not not so good but if your intention is self-criticism instead of self-loathing, that's the ticket. And that's where we want to work on loving our bodies at every step of the way instead of hating on it. So even if wherever we are in our journey, we still love it. We still love it for what it does for us because it does so much. I mean, most of you joined me in our workout last and we did amazing, right? You pushed it and that's so cool. It does so much for us. And... We don't want to look back when we're older and be upset that we hate it on our bodies. Like, that's so sad. We don't want to do that. Let's not do that. So just make sure you love your body throughout your entire journey, even if you want to change it. There's, I love my body, and I do want to change it. There's stuff that I still want to work on, and that's not bad. It doesn't mean I hate it. It just means I know I can do better. So I think that's, that's super important to know and learn. Seppo, go cat, go. <laughs> Where am I going? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Cosmic Daddy, yes, more quiet workouts. I'm on the third floor. Oh, can't imagine. Dude, I can't imagine. Johnny K, hi, hello. I think that's it then. I think that was a good one to end off with. I think I need to work on my lighting too. I kind of just left it. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for making this Q&A wonderful i i just can't believe that like all of you joined me <laughs> i think that's really cool i'm getting all like <laughs> sam body am is just so hard it's so easy to hate on yourself no matter who you are or how you look yes and it takes time um just remember that you can't change your thoughts so much at, like at first kind of thing like if you have if you've if you're continuously in the cycle of, of negativity towards yourself you know, those thoughts are still going to come. But if you kind of visualize these like negative thoughts as like floating in clouds, floating in one ear and then out the other, and then what you can control is the thoughts after. And that's really nice. So really think about controlling that. And then after a while, more positive clouds are going to come through. And those are really nice. And then they're going to stay there for a little bit longer. <laughs> so just remember that. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Mel. Thank you, Covington Diva. Thank you, Mark. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day. I hope you guys like this Q&A. I appreciate you guys so much. So, so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, do all the things. Remember to love your body for all it does for you. Remember to fuel your yourself with loving thoughts, loving foods, and loving movement. So important to do because remember you're enough right now. I think that's something we all need to hear. And it makes me all like emotional to think about. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Johnny, how's Justin? He's good. He's really good. 
we're gonna open up the gym soon so <laughs> i think he's excited to get back to real person training instead of just being like britney spears with his microphone so yeah <laughs> all right guys it's time to peace out i love you i hope you have an amazing rest of the day do all the things keep roaring roar all right roar